Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 21st of August 1911, Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa was stolen from the Louvre. The man who stole the portrait, Italian Vincenzo Perugia, had previously worked at the Louvre. Acting alone, he hid in a cupboard inside the museum on the evening of the 20th of August and exited on the morning of Monday the 21st, a day when the museum would be closed for cleaning, wearing a smock identical to all the other museum employees. With the museum deserted of visitors, he entered the Salon Carré where the painting hung and simply removed it from the wall. Making his way to a stairwell, Perugia removed the glass that had only recently been fitted to protect the painting from vandalism and discarded the frame. Leaving both the glass and the frame behind, he went back through the door with the painting and walked out of the museum unchallenged. Described by some as the greatest art theft of the 20th century, the museum itself didn't even realise that the painting had been stolen until the next day. Contrary to some reports, it's likely that Perugia wrapped the 53cm by 76cm painting up in his smock, rather than concealing it up his shirt, as the painting on its solid plank of poplar wood would have been too big. The Mona Lisa lay hidden in Perugia's apartment in Paris for two years before he decided to take it to Italy in 1913. Here, he made contact with Alfredo Gheri, a gallery owner, on the 10th of December, who in turn contacted the director of the famous Uffizi Gallery. The two men took the painting for safekeeping and informed the police. Perugia served just six months in jail for the robbery and was hailed by many Italians as a nationalist hero since he had returned the Mona Lisa to her real home, although it was later returned to France. Thank you.